Now you can call this a tangential response, a response that's a tangent in a way, but I saw Far West video Far West Man's video on basically knee jerk reactions and we make knee jerk reactions when someone makes a wild declaration and we respond with a wild declaration declaration on the opposite spectrum. So if someone says all men are evil, we're gonna say all men are good people fucked up by bitchy women and both are way out of line, but there's always a lesser of two evils. There's always a lesser of two evils. At the end of the day, if you get anything out of my video right now, it's that. But then I realized that there's, since the world is ending in two days, apparently, I'm not, I'm more skeptical of it now, though. But you know what? I just want to, I just want to make it there, so. December 21st. I never sufficiently mentioned the concept of equality. And we all know that there's people that treat it as a end of its own, the end all be all, what truly makes or breaks a society. That's the supreme virtue. Then we know the people that reject it entirely and support a base, basically a vertical line of basically you're either subjected or subjecting you're either control or controlled you're either a predator or the prey and while this in and of itself isn't really it doesn't really bother me it does make me think that all right what if this is also a wild declaration in and of itself. It could be. I mean, I'm always questioning my views. Yesterday I made a video about how maybe, just maybe, some of my videos in the later portion of 2011 were motivated in some way, or some of the tangents were motivated by me trying to insult my exes of the past. So I'm always questioning my own intentions and what what I have to say contributes to what the listener is thinking. I'm concerned about the well-being of the listener. And when I'm saying all this crazy shit, it comes out of my fucking mind. It's like, seriously? I should be concerned if one person listens to this and like turns into more of a... If it destroy some concepts and really causes damage or if it helps them in any sort of fashion. That's what I have to think. Cause that's kind of like... Ultimately, that's what we have to deal with. Our actions do have an effect. Our words do have an effect on other people. Our existence has an effect on other people, so... When I'm making videos one minute, where I'm basically saying that anarchism is the end of all be-all, and liberty is the greatest virtue, and then happiness is the greatest virtue, and these are such great ethos because they support these virtues, and then the next minute I'm basically like this, then I really gotta think, what about all those people that listen to that and they're still stuck in that mindset? Are they in the right or, you know, right direction, the correct path? Or are they in the wrong? Or did I do something bad by saying what I thought and not correcting myself? Because nowadays I look at my subscribers and whenever someone subscribes to me, I kind of have an idea whether... They'll stay subscribed to me or they'll unsubscribe. I'll say something that they don't like because they're ideologues and anything that contradicts their views makes them get pissy on me. Like that motherfucker that disliked me for all of a sudden just because I did Noam Chomsky and I res made compliments to him in 2011 videos, but 2012, I don't see him in a positive light. Yeah, <sighs> I have a really bad shoulder sometimes.
And then, going back to the main subject. The West is built on Christianity and well, Judeo-Christian virtues and classical antiquity virtues. Combined together, that's Western ideology. And the French Revolution took a bunch of concepts that have truth to them, the concepts of rights and equality, but then they made them into virtues. They fetishized them. And they turned them into some ideological nonsense. And while not all ideology is a bad, there is something wrong with an ideologue that takes an amalgamation of these views and basically does this kind of bullshit. This post. This French Revolution shit that killed a lot of people. People were pulled from crowds and put on the guillotine. Not all of them were bad. I don't think all of them were bad. I think some of them were just innocent people. Damn. But that's what happened. It's kind of what the masses did. And to this day, there's still people that again and again seek for a revolution, a Russian revolution, a Spanish revolution, or whatever you want to call it, there's still people that want this. It's stupid. That's stupid. You're asking for innocent people. Maybe it could be a family member of yours to die. And if the United States is going to collapse, then those innocent people could be my family members, my friends. It could be anyone, and to advance some virtue—that's that's ridiculous. Now, people like to now if you're on the far right and you're dissing on a John Locke, John Locke didn't intend for any of this to happen. He didn't advocate for what happened in the nineteen. In the 20th century. Or even now in the 21st century. He, isn't, he didn't want any of this shit. This is stupid. I don't even think Karl Marx would advocate for any of this shit that happened after his death. Why would he? Why would anyone in the right mind think any of this is good? But somebody that didn't even have the intelligence to comprehend all of this. I think pisses me off more than people that voted for Barack Obama. These were the people that didn't even know that he signed the NDAA. Maybe they were pissed about SOPA and PIPA. But then when they saw Mitt Romney and they were like, nah, this guy is an evil patriarch. And they moved on to liking and sucking on Obama's dick again. And now we got Sandy, and now people are on his dick more because he was crying in the speech. A slow, methodical one. Despite this, Barack Obama's no different than the killer because anytime he... Anytime he sends the troops to bomb some fucking terrorist points, some innocent little kids are gonna... Probably at the same age as these Sandy Hook children, they're gonna die too. They're going to die as collateral damage. And he knows this, and he's taking this as a sacrifice worth his cause. So he's no different than that guy that killed innocent kids. No different at all. <sighs> Equality is something that, let's say... This is going to the final point. If I basically buy a gun and shoot someone, it's premeditated murder. Would that same premeditated murder and the same person at the same time have been different a crime if I just took out a knife instead? Equality 
is connected to power. It's not independent or removing of power, but it's something that is attached to power. It's in the realms of power. We are equal in the sense of what powers we do and don't have based on facts, based on, I guess, what we were born with. So, there is some equality in nature, but it's so boring that it's not even worth making into a virtue. It's not a virtuous thing. Basically, it's kind of like rights. Rights are just stuff based on facts. Maybe not even birth, but of power and for power comes property. And it's not just based on law. You can't just say, oh, I'm being oppressed and make a law and then the rights come out that way. No, that's not how it works. It's based on facts. Just like equality is based on fact and based on power. Just that that's basically the general thing. No power, no basis to prove you're equal than anybody else. All the power, all the reason to say you're just like anybody else in terms of how you got fucked over. And moreover, no power, no equality, that's almost impossible to have no power in a society. You always have, like, some. If not, then you're not even a living thing. You're, you're inanimate. That's the only way I could think you have no power in society. No basis to say you have a right to something or to say that you deserve just the same treatment as this other person. Ironically, due to Marxism, our fetishing, fetishizing of equality has killed some in a way because now we don't have any power. And when we don't have power, we don't have a base to say, all right, we're the same in this basis. So that's one way you can look at it, like, if I was born a male that's interested in females and things like that, and you are too, and that way we're equal, and that way our intentions, whether good or bad, they hold the same weight. If I fucking... If I rape someone at night and you rape someone at broad daylight, then what's who cares? Who the fuck cares what time we do it? We did it on the same merit, based on our same principles, based on our same powers that we were given based on facts. So that's about it. It's so blunt, but... It's not virtuous. It's not Disney. It's not Disney at all. It's it's just raw. And some would say being raw is boring, but I would say that being raw is boring and interesting cuz we don't we don't see the rawness in equality. Cuz when we look at equality, we think of a fairy tale fantasy. Cuz that's how it's presented when Reality, it's based on principles that can't be taken away from us because they're related to the power we possess, and we do possess power. I possess power. You possess power. We possess the same powers in some way and different others. doesn't really matter. All right. I don't really think that I did a great job making this video, but I'm glad I made this video because the world's ending in two days. I don't give a fuck. Peace out, guys.